Um, okay, Jim Erickson, he asks, can NASA give coordinates and a precise trajectory to launch uh, the corrupt and or science ignorant politicians into a black hole? I think even I could answer that. The answer is yes. No, NASA I, could give the okay, coordinates. So the, the corrupt or ignorant politicians? But the question is actually, can NASA give the coordinates and a trajectory? So it's like he has a rocket that he just needs. The oh, he doesn't need the rocket! It, it, it sounds like he has the rocket, but what he needs is just, he's like, I'm not sure where to send it to the black hole. Like, it wouldn't be enough to just send them into space with no way back. We've got coordinates of very many black holes in the galaxy. They're yeah. discovered by uh, X-ray telescopes. Mm -hmm. And so the Chandra um, uh, X-ray... Uh, telescope, which is a telescope of magnitude Hubble, except mm -hmm. it's specialized in X-rays, not visible light. So, but people are not as cozy with X-rays as they yeah. are with, with with Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, uh -huh. green, blue, vi indigo, violet. So, uh, yeah, we have coordinates of black holes, and there's a supermassive one in the center. So, if you wanted to send people to it, that's how you do it. However, yes, here's what's, the, what's the limitation? The there's li always a catch. The with catch you. is. The more we want to send our politicians, who mm -hmm. are corrupt or ignorant, I, I mean, at the end of the day, in a democracy, who voted for them? Okay, yeah. so so maybe it is the population we should be sending into black holes and not the politicians, until the population learns right. how to elect right. a literate, scientifically literate politician. So I've stopped blaming politicians long ago. And, and, and blame the, uh, the voters. And, and as, just as an educator, my target is the electorate, not the politicians. Right. That's, that's all. Let's go.